Hi everybody, Trudy here. This is very quick and impromptu, so I, I get tongue-tied very easily, so um, please just bear with me. I'm not going to do any editing. So many of you have been PMing me about how I created the the uh, this image right here, how I made the tram transparency to put over it and I know many of you already know because I've seen you've been doing it but for those who don't I thought I would show you just really really quickly how easy it can be done um, first of all you open up the image that you want to make a transparency let's see I will start a new image so I will go to file new image blank file that'll be a pretty good size um, and then op open up an image by clicking on file and place and of course you have already saved the image to your desktop for this example boy that turned out really small so I'm going to crop that really quick so we can see it better and then view um, fit on screen Okay, I, I just picked a simple checkerboard for this demonstration so you guys can see how easy it is. My computer is running really slow tonight, so I apologize for that. I already had the background when I created the new image. It's right there and it's showing that it's locked. It's also white. If I hide the image that I just uploaded, I see white. For that to be transparent, I click on the eye, which, which makes that that layer not visible and then to work with the image that I just uploaded I make it visible again and the tool that you use I'm hoping that you can see this the tool that you use is this little eraser over here I don't know if I can move that um, if you click on the eraser there are several different options the one that I like to use to erase you have to for the magic eraser it will erase anything of the same color that you click on so if I click on the white boxes here it erases the white the checkerboard behind it means it's transparent I'll come over here and erase the black and it does the same thing okay and then the trick to keeping something transparent is to save it in a PNG format if you save it in JPEG or anything like that it's gonna lose its transparency and you'll see the white background again so I go up to file save as I should mention I don't even think I even said what I'm using I'm using Photoshop um, I'm just gonna type PNG checkerboard down here it says Photoshop which is the default save for Photoshop you click on that and go down to PNG and then I'm saving to my desktop already and this is gonna take a second because I blew it up really big okay um, Okay, still sorry I told you I'm running slow I need a new computer but I really don't want to transfer all those files over okay and then click on OK for PNG now to show you the transparency I am going to go over here and click underneath the layer that you're looking at now and then add an image file place okay we'll just we'll grab my Nail Art Studio Design right there. And I'm going to make it bigger. And you see, you don't see because right there, it, the, I didn't erase anything. But if I move it over, you can see it behind the image that we created the tra transparency for. It is that simple, ladies. That simple. Um, let's show, I'll show you a good, a better an example. This is what fireworks look like after I made the clear parts clear <laughs> that makes sense um, you see the checkerboards back here so now we're ready to place anything in behind it let's see I'll show you file place we'll use my same NAS design real quick and there oh 
I think I like that one. There is my NAS under fireworks. Um, it, it is so easy. You can, let's see, we'll, we'll do another one. File, place. Let's see what else I've got up, popped up here. Okay, well, here here is um, Drippin'. Come on, open, open. And there is Drippin'. See, I didn't uh, erase the background on that yet, but, and I could use it just like that if I wanted. Or I could go in and grab that magic eraser again and delete the background and then save it as PNG again. Um, I will, the, Adobe has a free downloadable trial. I will put the link to that in this post and then I, I will not have time to answer a lot of questions to help you ladies. I'm really, really sorry about that, but I've already got a bunch of them and as much as I would love to help, I've, I've got a team <laughs> and a business to run, but I will also put a link to lots of awesome YouTube videos. And I am self-taught myself. I am a graphic artist, but it's taken me years to teach myself to do these things. And YouTube was an amazing tool. Um, I'll put a link for some YouTube videos on that as well. I hope this helped you. Um, you know, I'm always more than happy to help if and when I can. Um, Y'all have a good day. Bye-bye.